Hey guys, it's BJ. Today I'm going to talk about how my life changed when I stayed off social media for 13 months. So, staying off social media for a long period of time means that you get to live in the moment. I was chatting to a girl in her early 20s a couple of months ago, and she was telling me how she went to the beach with a friend, and her friend took over 150 photos. And after they took all those photos, they then spent an hour and a half trying to decide which photo was the best one to upload to Instagram. They eventually uploaded a photo, but 20 minutes later they deleted it because they felt like that photo wasn't good enough. So, instead of going home after a long day at the beach and thinking about how much fun they had, they were thinking about how bad they looked in those photos. When you're not on social media and you're not posting things to make other people think favourably of you, you just enjoy the moment and it's bloody awesome. When you're not going on social media, that means you have a lot more spare time to finally do all the things you've wanted to do but previously never actually had the time or energy to do it because in your spare time you've just spent hours a day scrolling through your newsfeed. I want all my followers to pick up new hobbies. For example, I've recently started taking Mandarin lessons. So in my spare time, instead of scrolling through my newsfeed, I'm just going to study Mandarin. When you stay off social media for a long period of time, you start to think much more intelligent thoughts. For example, I was no longer seeing photos of avocado on toast or heavily photoshopped selfies. Instead, I was reading the biographies of highly successful public figures. When you read and learn about how much rejection these successful people had to put up with and how many times they almost quit before they went on to achieve their goals, this really inspires you to pursue your own career aspirations. It's a much more healthier alternative to the fake, pretentious and attention-seeking behaviour that you see on social media in your newsfeed. I want to challenge all my followers to avoid going on social media two hours after waking up in the morning and two hours before going to bed at night time. Instead, when you start the day, I want you to get out there, do something productive, do some exercise, write a list of all the things you have to do with throughout the day, or cook a meal or spend time with your pets. Just do anything that doesn't involve going on social media. And before you go to bed at night, I want you to lay in bed and reflect on everything you've experienced that day. As a result of this, when you have more time to reflect on everything that happens throughout the day, you have a better understanding of how you feel about everything that's going on in your life, you consequently know how to problem solve better, and you have a better understanding of what you want to do with your life and what you have to do in order to achieve those goals. You become much more strategic in your planning, and it's awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I appreciate all your support and I'd love you to send me some messages and let me know what other sort of topics you think I should discuss in my next video. The next topic I'm going to discuss is how social media promotes delusional thinking. So send me in those questions. Until next time, keep up to date with my social media platforms. Make sure you subscribe and come watch me perform stand-up comedy somewhere in Brisbane. Until next time, I love you all. Goodbye! Ilya Trilly.